Happy Wednesday, everybody. Let's jump into today's devotion. I was looking at Micah. I was reading through Micah, and reading different scriptures, but I came across Micah 6, and I was reading all of 6, which it's, it's, a, it's 16 verses, so it's not long. But verse 8 stood out to me. Because here we have this, this verse, and we have this chapter, right? And God is talking to his people, and, um, you know, he's, as he's talking to them, you know, he's, he's telling them, you know, I, I sent, I brought you out of Egypt. Um, you know, I've sent Moses to lead you and Aaron. And, you know, he's, he's reminding them of all the things that he's done. And, um, and it's, it's like this dialogue, right? And, and they're like, as worshipers, as followers, they're like, well, you know, what do you want from us? What do you, what is it that you eat? You know, what, 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 what do you want? And, uh, I mean, that, that's how I, as I'm reading through and just looking at commentary and, and, uh, you know, literally was this, you know, he's reminding of how he's carried them through all these situations. And they're, it's kind of like, what do you want from us? And they really go through this whole list of like sacrifices, you know, what sacrifice do you want? And, you know, they're like, will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams and 10,000 rivers of olive oil and shall I, I mean they're even like shall I offer my firstborn for my transgression the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul and you know which you know that wasn't the point this was the point he was trying to make he has shown you O mortal what is good and what does the Lord require of you to act justly to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God and that's such a powerful statement because often we're like, what does the Lord want from us? We feel like we're sacrificing. We feel like that we're giving. We feel like we're doing all of the things. And the one thing that he wants the most is not a religious act. Sacrifice can become a religious act. He wants our worship. He wants all of ours. When, when you look at this, this word, um, to, uh, to, this love mercy, um, the Hebrew word is hased, um, which essentially and primarily means faithful covenant love. And then thirdly, it says that they must walk humbly. And in that walk humbly, it, it, it's, it means to live. And the word um, um, humbly is like with humility, with love for one another. And um, it, it, it doesn't mean like humble, like humbly, like, oh, I'm so humble and, you know, but it's more along the lines of like actively not walking in sin. And he wants our worship. He wants the fullness of who we are. He, he is requiring not a sacrifice, not a religious act, but a changed life, a trans transformed life. What he was saying to them is, is like, remember all of the things that I've carried you through. Remember all the moments that I've walked alongside. I've sent your, you know, I sent people to lead you and I've met your every need. And they're like, what do you want? What, sac what more sacrifices can we give? And I feel like sometimes that's what we do with God is like, what more can I do? And it's like, he's saying, no, 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 listen, I don't want your religious act. I want your worship. I want your life to be transformed and changed. I don't want you to continue to do these things. I want to see a life changed. I want to see that you're you're not um, pursuing these things. You're not go chasing after these things. You're not walking this way. And so I just want to encourage you as um, as, as encouraging as that can be, because that it's almost kind of a hard word to hear, you know. But man, God is so desiring all of your best worship that your mind your heart and your life would be transformed that you would that we all would not continue to walk down the path that we've always walked down and do the things that we've always done and every so often bring a sacrifice we maybe sing a worship song we bring a tithe in we 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 do these things and then we serve someone we're nice to someone we're kind or we love someone and then we're like, you know, well, that was my good religious sacrifice for the day, for the moment. And he's like, no, no, no. I want to see a life that's transformed and walking after me, walking with me. And so be blessed. 
And uh, remember that he's not looking for your sacrifice. He's looking for your worship. We'll see you.